So this is gonna be a really short video and it's just on why I like Orca and that you can use calibration tools inside of Orca to get your printer printing great and you don't have to download other STLs. You can just go to prepare and get your settings. I like to start when I'm calibrating just on the, the generic settings and um, to put the quality down so it prints a little faster. You click right here to calibration and you have a tutorial right here so you can go through and learn exactly how to do all of these. Or you could just watch my videos because I've done them once so I'll, I'll show you how to do them. And you click on temp. This is the first one I'm going to do because I've already got my Z probe offset. And it says to do it between 190 and 230. I already started this but my time lapse didn't work. Um, so it looked like there were some overhangs around 220. So I'm just going to skip the 230 to 225 and do 220. And it, may, it, it makes you go in uh, temp, temp steps of five. I'll hit OK. And it's going to build a nice little temperature tower. I like to um, add a brim to it. And if you ever can't find anything in Orca, it's nice you have this little search option like other slicers. And I'm just going to change this up to like five just to be safe. Slice the plate. And export it and send it to your printer. Okay, so the temp tower is done. Let's see if it comes off. There we go. Still a little warm, but here it is. And let's just take a look at that. Okay, so looking at these two, this one was actually a little bit um, better quality, but it's because I had it set to like uh, not draft mode. So the layer lines are a little um, smaller. And I think if you compare, I think around like 215, 210 is the best. I think if um, I had the quality a little better, I wouldn't get as much overhangs. But you can see the retraction's actually pretty good. And I haven't set the flow rate yet. So really I'm just looking at like the quality around the part. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go like between 210, 215, maybe like 212 or 210, somewhere in there. Cause it looks like there's not a lot of stringing and it looks like around here is where it looks good on the edges. I also think those overhangs will look a little better if I slow down a little bit and if I dial in my flow. So, Hopefully this helps um, you kind of dial in your temperature setting using the Orca slicer. And I was able to get my first time lapse. Now that we know the temp we want to be at, the last step is to enter it into the slicer. Your filament right there. And this is where you can change your nozzle temp. You can also mess with your first layer um, in here as well. And your plate, your bed temperature. So hopefully this helps get started on dialing in your settings in orca slicer and it really does give you just like at least an area of where the filament's going to look the best